Well, howdy doody! So today I am here to do an unboxing video with you. I'm a little bit frazzled right now because I have only a half an hour to film this. But I really wanted to film this video because this box just arrived on my doorstep step like five minutes ago while I was going to the bathroom. I don't know why you need to know that I was going to the bathroom, but I was just really excited and I'm like, I have so much stuff going on this weekend that I know if I don't film this and edit it today, it's not gonna go up. And I need to go for a run before I pick up the kids from school and that's gonna take me about an hour because I need to put six miles in today. So anyways, again, more information you didn't need to know. All you need to know is that I really wanted to film this video. That's why my nails all janky and also that's why I have no makeup on because I don't usually wear makeup during the week unless I have like something that I'm actually going and doing. Although it actually works out well that I do not have makeup on right now because I want to test these products. With all that babbling, you probably already know what this video is based on the title of this video, but this is the Sephora Play Box. Now I'm not going to compare this box with any other boxes and the reason is is because this is a luxury Sephora play box this is not the standard play box this is the luxury one I got an email I want to say two weeks ago that was like I don't know I just happened to be checking my mail the second that it was sent to me and it was like get it now limited boxes available luxury items so if you're not familiar with my unboxing video of the Sephora Birchbox and Ipsy I do like a comparison of the three boxes because they're ten dollars a month well Sephora Play came out with a luxury one so this is five of the luxury lines that are at Sephora in this box normally it's ten dollars a month the one that I usually get but this is the August Lux play box, which seems weird since it came in September, uh, but this one was $20, I think, uh, plus tax. So I got super excited when I saw that. Also, it was limited edition and there were only a few and blah, 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 blah. It made me feel special to be able to get it. It didn't, I'm just saying that. But I just thought it'd be fun to see what it's like and unbox it for you guys. So again, I'm not gonna compare this to the Ipsy or the Birchbox. I think I actually canceled Birchbox because I just really was not happy with it. But the Ipsy and the regular play month has not come yet, so I will do that video when they show up. But again, this is just the Lux box. So this is what it looks like. Ooh. If you're familiar with my Sephora play unboxings, you know that usually it comes in like a cotton like drawstring bag with like a design on the outside. This, because it's $20, comes with this like holographic zippered um, tote thing. It's still not as well made though as the Ipsy bags. Like, it's, I know this is me being picky, but it, come on. This is a review video. I'm gonna be picky. I'm gonna point out everything. It kind of literally just is like not, it's not as well constructed as the Ipsy bags, which I think is kind of funny because the Ipsy bags, again, are only $10 and you get five samples in them. So, I'm gonna say that. And yeah, so here we go. So these samples better be good because this bag's really nothing to be super excited about. Like I could, literally I could make this bag with my sewing machine. This is one of those times where I'm actually, I really could make it myself. So the All-Star Edition comes with these like types of cards that say everything that's in it and all of that. So it says the All-Star Edition, it's written in the stars. Enjoy our most luxurious, best reviewed products along with some cosmic guidance. So the first thing in here, according to this card, is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. This is seriously magical, according to this person. It's the most coveted elixir. This treatment moisturizes and supports skin cell renewal used twice a day after cleansing. Okay. Very tiny. Very, very tiny. I've gotten a few SK2 things before, actually, from the company sent to me. They are face masks. Doesn't really smell like anything. All I can smell is my hand soap. Ooh, I feel magical already. I don't know. I didn't wash my face, so this is not how you're supposed to use this product. I just want to feel it on my face. I'll use it. I don't usually use essences, to be completely honest. That's part of kind of one of those longer 10-step skincare things. Like the Asians, especially Koreans, love those super long skincare like regimens. The next thing in here is a Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Perfume. This is actually really nice because it is a very decent size. It's glass and this is a scent that I really, really like. It smells really good. This is totally like my winter smell. I love it. It smells very similar to Guess Gold, I think is what it was. I used to wear Guess Gold. I think it was Guess Gold. It had the like gold top and then 
I don't know, it was like my favorite go-to smell during the winter. When I used to bartend, like the entire bar would know I walked in because that's all I smelled of. They like, that was like my scent. This is very similar to it and they unfortunately stopped making that guest perfume years ago and I didn't want to spend like $100 on a bottle that's normally like 40 or 50 just because it was sold out. So that's why I like Victor and Rolf so much because it's very similar to Guess Gold. It's so beautiful, it's so warm, and just, I love this smell. So I'm really excited about this because this is actually a very nice size of it. It's smaller than the rollerball, but it's bigger than like the sample size, and it's got the spray top, which I really like. So that's exciting, I do enjoy that a lot. The next thing in here is the Dior Show Mascara in black. Now this stuff, I've heard a lot of people love this stuff. I've honestly never tried it just because I like my mascara that I use. Okay, did that break? I don't understand what just happened here. I feel like I just broke it somehow. Did I break it? No. So it doesn't twist off, it literally just pulls out. Weird, look how big that brush head is. Is that normal? Holy moly. Like that brush is like longer. Like do you see that? I feel like it, it feels like it's broken but did I break it? I don't understand. Like, shouldn't it be like a twist off? I'm so confused. Is this two different pieces? No, whoops, just got mascara on my hand. That is a huge brush. So, anyways, like I was saying, I don't usually try new mascaras because I like the ones that I have. And when I hear Dior, I feel like I hear ka-ching, ka-ching, lots of money especially because I've bought Dior products and I know that those were not cheap. So yeah, not saying that my mascara is not expensive. I guess the mascara I buy is pretty expensive too. What do you think? Ooh, that works. Oh, crap, that works. <laughs> that works really well. I am really bummed. I don't have a mirror in front of me. I'm just kind of doing this blindly, FYI. This brush head is so big. That's what she said. That is what she said. I said it right now. I feel like I'm making such a mess all over my eyes. Um, that <laughs> worked amazingly well. Crap. Watch, this is gonna be like a $30 mascara. Thanks a lot, Sephora. The sample is just weird because it doesn't twist out. It literally just pulls out. <laughs> Again, <laughs> that's what she said. Yeah, I like that. A little bit messy. Moving on to the next product in here is the Amour Pacific Moisture Bound Rejuvenating Cream. This says, like the most vital element of life, this prized hydrator moisturizes and protects. Use daily to address first signs of aging. What if I have second signs of aging? Because I feel like that's where I'm at right now. I feel like, is this really what it's supposed to look like? Did I break it? Oh no, it twists up. So it twists up like this. Oh, weird, okay, oh, okay. So that was the bottom. This is the way it's supposed to look. And then there's like a little mirror on top. Where was that mirror when I was putting on this mascara? Did I make too much of a mess? No, I really like that mascara. That's unfortunate. It smells really good. Um, A little bit goes a long way, that's for sure. Ooh, I feel zip coming on. And it absorbs pretty quickly into the face. Huh, I will use it. If you don't like perfumey, it's kind of perfumey. So I would be, I would be, I would be cautious of that if you don't like smell. Second to last thing in here I'm already familiar with, this is the Hourglass Mineral Veil, Mineral Primer, whatever you want to call it. I have this in a full size and a few of these travel sizes already. I actually really, really like this primer a lot. I don't use it during the summer because I'm oily as you guys know, but I do use this a lot in the winter because it's very, very nice. It's almost, it's so weird. It goes on, well, I'll just show you because you know, I'm putting a bunch of stuff on my face anyways. Might as well. So when you put it on, it almost looks like blue. Like it has kind of like a iridescent look to it, but then you rub it in and then that goes away. But it really makes your face like super smooth. I'm putting all this stuff on my face and then I'm gonna go for a run <laughs> and it's just gonna clog my pores. <laughs> Yeah, and then it just like leaves your face feeling just like like a baby's butt. All right, last but not least is a Tom Ford color, lip color in Indian Rose. I feel like I actually might already have this in a sample size. Look how freaking darling that is. Like it is so cute. 
and it's Indian Rose. That's the color. Looks like it could be a decent color on me. I feel like I already own this color though. Kind of has a lipsticky taste to it. I'm a little bit bummed about that. But it's a really pretty color. It doesn't look very good on me right now because I have nothing on my face and I feel like colored lips kind of need, like when you put lip color on, I feel like you need other makeup too. But it feels really, really good. Very moisturizing. Doesn't feel like it's slipping all over my face, but again, kind of has a little bit of lipsticky taste. But this was a really nice luxe package, actually. I really, really liked it. These are all the products I got for $20, which I think was actually a good deal. Just because these are very high-end products, I really like the mascara. I'm really sad about that. But I'm excited because I have a nice little travel size deluxe mini of the Flower Bomb. Like, it was, this was a nice, this was a nice little package for 20 bucks. Like, I'm not mad about it. I think the only thing that I'm a little bit annoyed about is that they couldn't have made a nicer bag for $20 just because the Ipsy bag for $10 is really just way better made, way nicer. Like the, the Ipsy bag is just a lot nicer and that's only $10 plus you get products. I get that these are high end, like I get that, but at the same time, like I feel like this should match, like the bag should match the samples, if that makes sense. I honestly would have preferred maybe they put more of my money towards the bag and the products and not this kind of gimmicky tarot card slash like, weird thing, you know what I mean? Like, like I feel like there's a lot of thought and maybe money put into this part, but I could have lived without this. Uh, but yeah, it was, it's a nice, it's a nice bag. There you have it, there is the Sephora Lux Play bag. I'm glad I did it, I'm glad I did it, I don't have any regrets. You know what, I can give this bag to Kaya or Ava or something, but yeah, I mean the bag is definitely a step up from that cotton drawstring bag, but it's not as nice as the Ipsy one still. There you have it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like unboxing videos like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Cross your fingers and wish me luck that I don't die on my six mile run because I'm real tired right now. And I should probably take off this lipstick. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and thank you as always for watching and I'll see you all in a later video. Bye.